Greetings golfers, today we're going to be playing the front nine of my home course, Golf Dorval. On screen you can see my stats from last year. Last year I picked up golf for the first time and you can see I ended the year with a 27 handicap. Today is May 4th and the club just opened as golf season is just starting in Montreal, Canada. Today is my first round of the season and unfortunately I didn't have any time to warm up today. So we aren't going to count this first terrible tee shot. I'll bring the jacket. <laughs> so not off to a great start, but today we're going to see the good and the bad. Mostly the bad. So conditions today on the course are pretty terrible. It was raining all day. Decided to stop raining right before we started playing, so the ground is very wet and the rough is very sludgy, as you can see. Nice. So it takes me four shots just to make it to the green. So one of the things I want to work on this year, being a high handicap golfer, is my putting. No, I didn't have any warm up today, so my putting is really bad. Um, usually I'll three putt most holes, but you can see here, that's a four putt. So we're going to end the first hole with an eight, which is not great. So faring a little bit better on the second hole, you can see I made it on the green just in time to attempt a par putt just short. So I'll take the bogey and then we'll move on to the third. That didn't go very far, but it was good. So on the third hole, we get my first straight drive of the day. I'm able to actually hit the fairway. And we can see my second shot going for a six iron. I want to stay clear of the water. It goes a little right, but I'm right in right. front of the bunker, okay leaving myself about uh, 80 yards to the flag here. <laughs> now for this shot, I'm using the gap wedge. I want to make it over the water and hopefully make it stick onto the green. And lucky for me, it's exactly what happens. Just... <laughs> So 
So moving on to the fifth hole, I forgot to record my drive. Went really high, only 156 yards though. So I still have uh, quite a ways to go. It's 215 to the hole on this par four. And if you weren't sure that the course was wet or not, here's some proof. This is not a water hazard, this is just a puddle. It's really wet. That tracer makes it look like the ball went a lot further. I really only hit it 20 yards, like barely over the puddle. So now for my fourth shot, try to get on the green. So moving on to the sixth hole of the round, I'm already sitting at plus 11, which isn't great. And this tee, you gotta shoot it over this like wetlands. So if you mess up your drive, you're in trouble. Lucky for me, I hit a decent drive, 200 yards, and puts me right next to a bunker. A nice triple bogey for the seventh. Now we move on to hole 10 instead of eight. It was a little quiet today, so the marshal let us play 10 and then 18 instead of eight and nine. So here I just wanna point out some really poor decision making on my part. You can see I didn't even make the fairway here. I'm in the rough and I elected to go three wood since I still have 300 yards to go. You can see how well that goes. And I continue to try to use the three wood in the rough, and you can guess what happens. So I got lucky with this shot. I did hit it over the water. Uh, it's not an actual water hazard part of the course. It's just a gigantic puddle. So you'll be able to see it right here behind me. Yeah. It <laughs> was gigantic.
over. Bogies and double bogies are good for you. That's good for you. If you get bogies and double bogies? I think I should have got at least a part because I was there and then it like went in the sand. Oh. I was there on like one. So one, if I landed here two, and then like two, I landed on zero. Could have gone far, yeah. So here's my score after the first nine holes. Scored a 58. Uh, if I'd continued this trend for the back nine, had I played it, would have scored a 116, which is a bad score for me. So we'll use this as our baseline moving forward, and hopefully this summer we see some improvement. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.